video is all about how to find square roots and cube roots using shortcuts so let's get started first of all you should know all the squares and cubes from 1 to 9 So let's try to find the square root of 7396. Separate the given number into two parts as shown. Here last digit of last two numbers that is 96 is 6. So write the square root of the number from the square table having a 6 as its last digit. Here number 16 and 36 both having last digit 6. So write 4 or 6. So unit digit might be 4 or 6. We may conclude. Now focus on the left sided two digits of the given number that is 7 and 3. Now find the number less than left sided two digit number that is 73 from the squares table. We got 64 that is less than 73. Write down its square root that is 8. So 8 will be the tenth digit of the required square root. Now decide to choose either 84 or 86. Now multiply 10's digit that is 8 with its successful number that is 9. So multiply 8 into 9 gives 72. Compare this result with the left sided 2 digits that is 7, 3 of a given number. Seventy three from the given number is greater than seventy two from the multiplied result. So take the greater value that is eighty six will be the answer. So the square root of seven three nine six is eighty six. Thanks a lot for watching this video.
let's try to find the cube roots using shortcut techniques so first of all separate the given number into three digits here last digit is uh, 5 so find a number from cubes table having last digit equal to 5 here we have 125 so write its cube root that is 5 so 5 will be the unit digit of the required result Now search the number from cube table less than right sided 3 digit number that is less than 614. We got 512. Now write its cube root that is 8. So, 10th digit of required result will be 8 for sure. We got both digits. 10th digit is 8 and unit digit is 5. So, our final result will be 85. So, 85 will be the answer. So, cube root of 614125 is 85.